The race is on around the world to be the first to create a coronavirus vaccine, and these scientists in the UK appear to be in the lead. So at the moment we have just uh, put the vaccine that we've generated from these bacteria into mice, and we're hoping over the next few weeks we will be able to determine uh, the response that we have, can see in those mice, in their blood, um, uh, their antibody response to the coronavirus. If successful, the next phase of testing will include clinical trials on humans and then a final green light will be required from regulators before the vaccine is made available to the public. So perhaps by the end of this year there will be a viable tested vaccine that would be suitable for use in people. It usually takes months, if not years, to create a vaccine. It appears these scientists have done it in just 14 days. But they expect the next stage of the process to be slower. To make the biologically safe material, you need very specific types of factories and you need to develop those processes once we know which vaccine is going to work. And so there's a, there is a delay time in that process. Mm -hmm. But also we need to make sure it's safe and, and do the test properly before rushing it through and getting an unsafe vaccine would be far worse than doing it as quickly as we are able to and getting a safe, effective vaccine. And even though this lab is winning the race, the researchers admit it's only been made possible by international information sharing. It has been remarkably good about how the Chinese scientists have shared their research and their data very openly and very quickly. And that has enabled the, uh, not only the development of vaccines, but also of diagnostic tests, which can then be used globally to reduce the spread of disease. There's no doubt this is a major breakthrough and one that's been made at pace. But the reality is, even if the vaccine is approved, it won't be in time to help those currently battling the coronavirus. But it will be a vital insurance policy if the current outbreak is not brought under control or if in the future another one strikes. Sarah Morris, TRT World, London.